everyone welcome to this video i really hope that you have been enjoying your thursday thus far now i'm here with an update this afternoon in regards to what is happening across portions of the u.s as well as the caribbean so it has been very windy and there's been those showers moving by as well so we're gonna get straight into all of that first things first we're taking a look at this colorful satellite imagery the infrared satellite now we can see all these white dots and that is actually indicative of lightning strikes so across portions of the gulf in louisiana even towards uh, other states such as mississippi alabama even up into tennessee as well there is some thunderstorm activity moving by and also a lot of heavy rain especially in louisiana there's been a lot of rain moving through portions of the eastern u.s so uh, with all this happening there's that next frontal system which is setting up and that is going to be bringing some impacts to the caribbean as we head into next week so here we are taking a look at the visible satellite imagery for the region and we can see all these clouds coming in from the east are being carried by the trade winds and uh, with that there are some showers moving by as well that has been the story for a lot of the islands of the lesser antilles and even portions of the greater antilles in central america as well we're even seeing those patches of clouds near the abc islands so there are some showers nearby uh, especially for bonaire and curacao so uh, there's nothing major going on right now but it's been pretty active in terms of rainfall for some areas as we take a look at the rainfall forecast through tomorrow morning, so this is for the rest of today and into tomorrow morning. Here we are seeing these dark green shades and some yellows popping up as well across some areas in the Gulf. And uh, for most of the Caribbean islands, as I said, there's nothing major happening. So it's likely that if there's going to be any rainfall for your area, it may be short-lived. It may not be uh, very, very widespread and uh, substantial, but that is certainly possible. But for other areas, it's likely just very windy and overcast at times with no significant rainfall activity. So areas in Central America, such as Belize, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, down to Colombia and South America, even over into the Guyanas as well, and in portions of the Lesser Antilles as I speak, some areas are experiencing some showers, such as portions of St. Lucia and even Guadeloupe and Dominica as well. And as I mentioned, there are those patches of clouds near the ABC Islands. So there is some shower activity in the area as well. Nothing crazy going on for most of Cuba, Hispaniola, Jamaica, and the Cayman Islands. Likewise, up into the Bahamas. Going towards the wind forecast now, here we are taking a look at it, and we can see mostly these dark purple and blue shadings, especially in the Central Caribbean, as we are seeing some of those darker blue shadings uh, offshore Colombia. So those winds are probably over 30 miles per hour. And even in the vicinity of the Leeward Islands as well, and maybe even the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, some of those wind gusts may be over 30 miles per hour. So it's been very windy across these areas, much of the Greater Antilles, including the Cayman Islands, and even up into portions of the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, the ABC Islands as well. And uh, for the other islands near Central America, San Andreas, Providencia, the Bay Islands of Honduras, and the Keys offshore Belize. So that's been the story, guys. And... There is, uh, with that system currently produced and all the activity across the U.S. we briefly looked at earlier, there is going to be that next frontal system making its way out. So this is as we're going to be heading into Wednesday. And behind that frontal boundary is likely to be a mass of cooler air. So it's already cool for some of us in the Caribbean, particularly those areas which are very windy, where there's uh, those intermittent showers moving by every now and again throughout the day. That helps out with the heat as well. So we find that it's not very, very hot. But overall, there is that next massive cool air which is expected to bring those cooler temperatures to portions of the Caribbean, particularly the islands in the north and even parts of Central America as well. So this is as we head into Wednesday, this is what GFS is showing and we're seeing these blue shadings which represent below average temperatures across uh, portions of the Caribbean, Jamaica, over in Central America from Mexico, near Belize, even for Honduras, uh, Nicaragua. And also as we head towards the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands near Hispaniola, 
potentially even Puerto Rico as well and Bermuda up there. So cooler temperatures are expected and the euro has been in agreement with this. So models have been pretty consistent about this for a while now. So it seems as though it is pretty likely as we're going to be heading into the mid to latter part of next week. So this is for Tuesday and the euro is certainly showing those below average temperatures. So things are likely to get cooler and uh, that active pattern with those continuous pattern showers at times is likely to remain. But that is what is expected guys that next cool down is on its way with that front which is going to be making its way out of the US. And as of right now, there was a lot of activity being produced, a lot of heavy rainfall, and in the Caribbean, those very strong winds and intermittent showers. So I really hope that you guys found this video to be quite informative, but if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you when I can, and remember to always be weatherwise.